Hi friends, it's time for June favorites. Welcome back to my channel. I thought it'd be fun to do something a little bit different this time. I'm filming most of this in my house because I thought it would be informative for you all to know the things that I have been using and loving for a while now that I may not take to the studio to film. And I thought I would start with different areas of my house and just show you some of the favorite things that we have that we've been using lately. So I just wanted to collect a few things and show you my June favorites. One of the smaller projects we had going on in our house was to move these books off the floor and since we ran out of room on our rainbow shelf, we decided to maybe display them underneath the TV. I got the area cleaned up with a Swiffer cloth and then JC went to town arranging the books. We finally decided on a little setup where the Sono speaker is no longer behind the books but underneath the credenza. So there's our setup. One of the books we now keep in our kitchen is called Edible Selby. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and we haven't tried any recipes from it just yet, but look, it comes with stickers and there's a bunch of watercolor designs. We had some guests in our house and they got me a gift of Sugarfina. I love this store so much and I just indulged in the apple frogs and ate them so fast. These baby champagne bears are also delicious. The other two are great as well, but I love gummy candy and look at how tiny these little bears are. They're so little and they're so yummy. Some of you have been asking about my lipstick and I got this one at VidCon actually, NYX gave it to me. It's Karma Kiss and I love it, it's perfect for summer. We've also been enjoying these hanging wall vessels from Umbra. They are in between our kitchen and our lockers when you first walk into our house. While we were at VidCon, my mom got Jack this enchanted cupcake party game because he asked for it at Target and he is obsessed with it and I know it's kind of weird that he's playing with a Disney princess game, but hey, if he's into baking and layering cupcakes, that's perfectly fine with me. So each layer actually comes off and it's so cute because it comes with a recipe card for all the cupcakes. It's really sweet and I love seeing that he enjoys it. These are our favorite books at the moment. He also loves The Very Hungry Caterpillar, but I just love the way these are designed and I think they're really cute and great for kids and adults. The next thing is this Kate Spade Flamingo silicone case that was gifted to me by a friend of mine, Anna, in Orlando. And it was perfect timing because this Target $5 case is chipped and was completely falling apart. So I decided to open up this box and put it on right away. I just love the way it feels. It's made of silicone, so it feels really rubbery and jelly, and it makes me want to bite it, but I don't. And I've been getting tons of compliments on it. Yay! Another pink item that I've been loving recently is something that I actually received in my VidCon bag. This is a little charger. So you shake it up and then it delivers the charge to your phone and you just shake it up to turn it off as well. So cute. You may have seen the dad project on my blog. This bow punch from Fiskars is adorable. Okay, so while we were filming, a hummingbird flew in our house. This happens sometimes, but um, not that often. And then it decided to perch itself up there, which doesn't look comfortable at all. I love hummingbirds, and I'm so glad they come in and visit us. But I prefer them to be outside. Luckily, they make it out just fine after a couple hours of hanging out inside our house. If you've been following me for a while now, you know that I love teaks. This is my third pair. They are feather gray and I just love them because they're foldable and they're super comfy. And I like that this color is very neutral and fun for summer. Speaking of summer, I found the most perfect organic sunscreen. It's Block Island and it is awesome, smooth, doesn't leave a white residue. I love it for both me and Jack. For my bathroom routine, the shampoo and conditioner of my choice right now is Kai. It smells so so fresh and floral and it's just the perfect scent. I'm also using the Block Island facial cleanser along with my Clarisonic Mia and my skin has been looking so much better than it was before. Thank you all for your comments and suggestions. I think I'm back to okay with my skincare. In our guest bedroom suite, we have these travel prints 
hanging and they are printed by Persnickety Prints. They were actually taken all on my iPhone. They're mounted on foam core, which they do for you. The prices are really good. That's an overhead shot of Sydney, Australia. And these were all taken with my iPhone. The quality of Persnickety is so awesome. Be sure to check them out. The links are all below. This is the cactus ring holder that I made for Kin Community's Facebook page. I'll link that below too. I've just been loving it on my nightstand and I've got a ton of books here. I'm like the slowest reader, but this novel by my friend Kristen Harmel has me looking forward to going to bed and not looking at my phone before I do so when we meet again. All right, so we ended up in the bedroom and I hope you enjoyed watching these favorites for June. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I would love to hear your comments below. Are there some favorite things that you love for summer that I should be checking out as well? Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. It's a little bold, but I do love this lip color.